After a new inhuman named Ulysses Kane emerged who could see visions of the future, the superhero community was divided over the morality of using his powers to stop crimes before they even happened. When Ulysses predicted an attack by the Celestial Destructor, Ms. America fought against it alongside the Ultimates and most other active heroes. After its defeat, she attended Iron Man's afterparty with the other heroes. When Ulysses predicted another attack on Earth, this time by Thanos, Ms. America and the other Ultimates, along with a Force, Human Torch, and War Machine, defeated him at the cost of War Machine's life and grave injuries suffered by She-Hulk. In tears, America waited outside of She-Hulk's hospital room at the Triskelion, slightly worse for wear herself as she had received some cuts and scrapes during the fight. Monica thought that America was taking Rhodey's death and Jennifer's injuries particularly hard because she was young and thought that it was her fault because she hadn't done her job well enough. Monica was sad that she felt that way but glad that she was at least texting Lisa for comfort. Patsy Walker texted America because she thought Jen was in trouble. America used a portal to travel to Patsy's apartment, and told her the sad news that Jen was in a coma. America helped Patsy break into the Triskelion to visit her, although she told her she was on her own to get out. America didn't actually attend James Rhodes' funeral, but she met Kate Bishop outside of it. Kate wanted her to talk about his death since she knew how hard America was taking it, but instead of talking, America showed Kate a bunch of alternate universes where War Machine didn't die. America said that, this James is dead, and first hate that first couldn't save him, but there are a near infinite number of James Rhodes variants out there. Kate questioned her, asking if she really saw them all as interchangeable and America said that even though there are so many realities where he didn't die, on Earth 616 he died fighting for people that he cared about and she greatly admired that. After Hawkeye, Clint Barton, killed Bruce Banner because of events precipitated by another one of Ulysses' visions, America, Monica, Adam, and T'Challa watched Carol testify during his trial on television. America, Billy Kaplan, Teddy Altman, and David Allen tried to cheer up their former Young Avengers teammate, Kate Bishop, who was depressed about Clint's trial and situation. The Ultimates, along with Giant Man built a containment device for the Infinaut, based on one of Ulysses' predictions. Because of Ulysses' vision, they knew exactly where the Infinaut was going to materialize and prepared for his arrival. Ms. America, Spectrum, and Black Panther followed Captain Marvel to the site of an attack on a Stark facility, where they found Medusa and the Inhumans. Although the Inhumans claimed to be innocent, the exchange quickly turned violent. The conflict ended when Medusa told Lockjaw to teleport the Ultimates back to the Triskelion. Ms. America and the rest of the Ultimates helped Captain Marvel apprehend Alison Green after Ulysses predicted that she had a black hole generator in her briefcase. Ms. America told Black Panther that she had some reservations about Captain Marvel's enthusiasm in acting on Ulysses' predictions. When they found out that the briefcase was empty, and Captain Marvel said that it was time for her teammates to decide if they were with or against her, America hit her with a chair declaring her intentions. She said that she had been to realities with predictive justice, and that it never turned out how it was intended. Captain Marvel told Spectrum to incapacitate Ms. America by flying into her eyes in light form, but America created a tiny portal in her eye, sending Monica far, far away. The fight stopped when the Triskelion lost power, meaning that the formerly imprisoned Connor Sims and Thanos could walk free.